Ooh. right there. You can't miss it. Good stuff, though. The Molotov is going to be extinguished, and Liaz is going to find the opening frag. He's not going to be alone. Tarek is in the banana with him. Gratisfaction with the spray. These three players can just save over here oh, on A. They can hold on to these weapons. They can keep them into this next round. The peak, little as you know, Grat Ooh. on the ramp with the Krieg. Scary stuff all alone. He's going to get out of there. They miss the timing. They got up ult really fast. I wonder if that's info that EG are going to be ready for. You can see they've got a triple B setup. So a kill on Breezy could win this round instantly. Circle do, but he's going to hit the shot. There's a second man here. JKS making noise and Breezy needs to be ready for it. To set himself up inside of the site. And now start to close the gap. The flashes go in. Tarek in the pool and nobody checked it. Nobody checked dead ahead. They're too busy looking left and right. And that's Tarek doubling up. You have a kid on Breezy. No options, but for the peak over the top, JKS catches the kit player. They need to go back and grab that, and they haven't. Another kill. JKS taking matters into his own hands. Time is ticking, and opportunities dwindling. Circus stalling up with the banana. He might not go for this, but walking back into the angle. JKS doesn't expect the late peak, and Grat now has to clutch it out. The one on two, he gets a kill, but the trade is there, and the kit is so deep, he finds it. And he's going to have time for the DPs as well. That was actually retrieved via Ethan in the spawn. So heads up play by uh, Breezy, I guess, who lost it. Oh, attempt at the banana peak. And it's going to get messy here. Damage done either way. And somehow, EG managed to get oh. out with the advantage. They find a five on four. What is set up inside of the B site? What is defending this B site on the Evil Genius' side? Yeah, 103 throw a smoke that feigns a CT flank. So that's why Sirk is watching for it in the ruins right now. He's going to be the uh, safeguard, the man at the back. As he goes through the smoke, Tarek lines up one. Sirk gets a trade and somehow stays alive in the pool. The bomb getting picked back up and planted. Sirk can set up for the retake. Yeah, half the time ticked off for this bomb. Flashbang now set up for this retake. And that's going to let these players get out from Banana as it tries to swing for the re-peak. Looks to get that trade. And that's where the double Banana setup will prevail. Running on rotation. That smoke stalls things out. Breezy waits by. They run through the flash. He's so white. Jaden gets out entry. But Cirque trades right back. Dropping the bomb. And another one. Gratisfaction hits the floor. And Cirque, he wants more. Oh, he hits the wall bang, Cirque. Wow. JKS down to third. He's going back in though. Commits to the swing. JKS can get this bomb back on the site. Azza has joined him as well with that plant. But Tarek could go right through the smoke and put an end to this. The flash is going to hold him back and the plant is allowed. Oh, oh JKS wow. and Azza. They chain that together to win out the two on three. Utility's going to be out. Here comes Cirque with that big oh, AWP no. we talked about. Gets caught out in the open behind his smoke, down to 13 HP. And he's going to try to get out of there before Azur comes through the smoke. Tarek will be there, though. Unfortunate timing. Cirque still in the fight. Fighting from the site, 2v2. Liaz Azza, Cirque Ethan. Neck and neck. Oh, good There's the shot. Finally, Cirque falls. He's been alive in this round somehow way too long. And the second op on Ethan. I think he's realizing this one's a little bit too far done. What's the game plan now for 100 Thieves? So it comes rotating over towards his B side of the map. As a... Gonna be the first man in. Cirque naded down there on the back of that utility. Flash for Ethan, and he does get one, but... Azza on a tear, looking for magic number three. Not quite able to deal with Tarek. This is getting risky. This bomb is here alone. Grass Faction gets that kill, and it is a must-win kill at that. Because if the bomb gets dropped over at Banana with a second player in rotation and JKS all the way over oh my God. in mid, that round was over. Now they're given some time to rejoin each other here. Stanislaw's going to have the read, and he has read it well. Anticipates that this is going to be the A commitment. Might try peeking into this. and Oh, he almost caught a timing there. In fact, he actually has. <laughs> CZ's done so much damage. Gratisfaction. 35 points of health, 30 seconds left on this clock as well. He tries to accelerate into the A-bomb site. Stanislaw now armed to the teeth with this Krieg. Gratisfaction, is he ready for this short peak? Timing is everything here, oh, and Stanislaw, very, very quick, is able to mop him up. EG, with just pistols and that one AWP on the back of Cirque, they're able to get around. Gets it. It's a banana. That knee could be big. 
for the Underwhelm. The spray, the same. JKS gets one, traded back, and Grat goes through the smoke as well. The fearlessness on 100 Thieves is really showing through. He can just bail. He knows there's another man on B, and 100 Thieves is going to double down. A is a, uh, a is a solo player. Yeah, they saw that double B hold on the back again. Those two kills still remaining, and now they try and pick up the pace. They try and catch Breezy while he's flying solo, and he does get shut down. Smoke is going to cut Tarek out of the round, and with it, this should be a ninth for 100 Thieves. Uh, going to try his hand at the mid-peak. There is a player concealed down in the tunnels. That was Jacob. Ethan Zorp rings out over here at B, but he's lost his teammate Tarek to nades there. Nearly. <laughs> nearly. Oh, cat and mouse game. Ooh, nearly. Oh, there it is. There's the peak, and JKS is going to win it. Now they get the information that a second player is close, and that was where Jacob was meant to capitalize and get that second kill. He wasn't quite able to manage oh, it, and Stanislaw bomb. has actually dropped this bomb down in middle. This is a huge round from Stan, and now he disappears into the apartments, into the mist, into the smoke and mirrors. JKS now all alone, and Cirque already on the angle is going to cement that sixth round there for EG. 9-6. EG T side now, got to take the pistol if they want to level up, and they're going to fast play it towards B. Liaz spamming away, does do some damage, but his teammate dead in the meantime has to give it up. Satisfaction, oh trying to get the reload off, but obviously you've got to assemble the CZ. He's put it back together, he's taken it apart, <laughs> and now he takes Cirque apart as well. The CZ works up in the apartments. However, this B site, if you listen closely, you can hear the crickets chirping. There's nobody here for 100 Thieves. However, the stampede of footsteps from EG and leave him in a doable spot at the end of things. Damage already done onto Gratisfaction. Ethan holding close here by the coffins. Tarek doubling down, and this pistol round is over. Oh, the double play. This is second bout of utility going into the B side. There isn't a follow up behind it, but Suck does go in and get a kill. Now he can leave because he's already drawn a rotation over towards B. And now I think 100 Thieves started to realize this can't be the case. There's no one out. There's no bomb. 10 seconds. Liaz in the pit holding the line. As are doing the same. A killer piece. Oh, the bomb man. dropped to their feet and a 10th round gifted over. EG, they do a great job of forcing a third man towards B and getting that kill inside of the site. But past that, 100 Thieves do not fall for it. Both players running that A-side crossfire and shutting down the round with 10 seconds remaining. Going to dump some utility in sight. This time, I think they're going to go for it. They're going to commit with it with the bomb. Running straight across. It's Breeze oh and Tarek with the opening frags. Oh, Liaz even knew. He was so aware that Cirque was there. Hits the dink, but nothing past that. The orb can get saved. But it is a lost round. And EG given top B, they're not even going to hang around. They're just going to ditch it because it's so common. You see more and more teams doing this nowadays. So retake a banana with that smoke and the Molotov coming over. Big kill for Grat. Does take down Circa. Boost up on Liaz is not going to be expected after seeing the AWP in the same position. Grat coming back in for more towards a boiler as well. Third player even here. Grat can now look elsewhere because Liaz has got their attention fixated. Two kills going in for a spray and he's going to mop up three. Him and Grat shut it down and 100 Thieves win the round. 11-11. Took down Ty Lu in the opening day. They play against Mouse Sports tomorrow. But that's all for the EU side of things. For now, we're staying in NA. And oh my god, this is so NA. Look at how fast that is. 133 and he's up long. He's in the A site now flanking these players. Lias has no idea. He's going to go down. As a holding his own in the pit, but only for a moment. Breezy will take him down as well. It's going to be an A site take. Going well for EG. Really scary stuff. It's going to have to be a save. Yeah. He comes from CT. Cirque A still in an off angle. B would get that information nice and early. We'll hold that thought because suddenly there's an explosion of gunfire and utility down towards Banana. And we're it throw it into this four on four very, very quickly. Jacob is about to get flashed, but he turns away from it and does catch Breezy trying to go aggro in towards the top of Banana. Rotation has come in preemptively from Azza. You know, they both had utility, but you want to leave the utility on the player that's playing B rather than the one that's rotating into the heavy stacked bomb site. That is A. And that is the call right now. 40 seconds. Azza, oh no, misery. Flash on B causes his rotation, but he gets away with a kill. And that's more you can ask for. Keeping the advantage here for 100 Thieves. Three on two. Molly back on long. Tarek, big kill. Finding Liaz out in the open lane side. Going to go regroup with his teammate on B, knowing that there's got to be another man here. But Jacob, oh, this angle. It is dastardly. It is... Sneaky, and with 20 seconds, he could stop this entire round in its tracks. He's now hearing the footsteps tucking in the corner, trying to buy time as he tries to stop this bomb. Oh, big kill. 
There's the plant, AWP there on Grat versus the Krieg of Tarek. Now that he knows exactly where Grat is fact is coming from, interesting play to close the round out there. There's so many angles you need to clear, and he's already had a, a long rotate off of A. So try and get the quick kill, try and play the element of surprise. Doesn't work out, though, and it's broken the money for 100 Thieves. JKS, oh my god, there's a molly to his left. He's walking into it between two flames. One and done. <gasps> oh, no. Jacob, he was checking for contact and then looked away right as he came around. He doubles back, he gets a kill, but it's traded. And it's these B contact plays for EG that have been so good, man. 100 Thieves, not expecting them and getting completely bamboozled. They might even have to save. Three Famuses left for the retake and it's just not going to happen. This is a horrible round to have to give over. You know, it's almost like the more you believe it, the more you kind of start to see it come to life in the server. They need four in a row to take this oh. to overtime, and Liaz has just been dunked down low, wow. spammed by Breezy. He looked to accelerate the pace, looked to continue, and does actually get shut down. The man advantage regained now for 100 Thieves, and for EG, it's back to the B play. Oh, that flash is good, but actually, you see, Azza hangs around in mid as the smoke fades, and he spots that there's no one there in middle. With that information, they should rotate towards B, but they're hanging around because EG have gone quiet. EG have been playing quiet all game long. His contact plays into B once again could net them the money. Sir, creeping through the smoke, the flick almost hit. You usually expect him to land that shot, so now his team have to make up for it. Fast play from Ethan lands correctly with JKS trades, and the molly makes him burn in the pool. It's just Cirque now alone, one on three. Fire bringing 100 Thieves lifeline in this map. Back. Oh onto the table. Few more on the CT side. They've got to double up now. They've got three in the entire half so far. Jacob, good start in aggression, but landing none of the shots behind it. Stan, somehow, someway, still alive and chasing. I love that decision. He he knows oh, oh, oh. that Jacob believed that that close corner was clear, and somehow the trade doesn't come in from JKS. He only gets away oh, with a oh, dink. Gets found through the smoke. Stan? Stanislaw's doubled up with just one point of health, and this B bomb site is open for business. EG, they're gonna get that bomb planted three on five. This cannot be how it all falls apart for a hundred thieves. This was a partial buy from EG. Just oh, pistols man. and armor. That's all they had to work with. And Breezy wow. shutting down another. This gap is tiny and he's still doing damage. That's the round. That's the map. EG take it. That nade going to be the first thing in. Now, how much use can he get out of this smoke? Oh. That's the one question. The nade is meaty, but JKS gets put in the grave almost immediately. Trades go left and right with Azza and Cirque both offering up a kill apiece. Bomb now planted. Damage found through this smoke. Kit on the back of Jacob. That utility that JKS and Gratis Faction did have is now a distant memory. Oh no. I think that smoke what? is still out there floating around. So we could see someone try and retrieve that. Jacob and Liaz both getting a kill leaves all the pressure onto Tarek now. This smoke would have come in real clutch with that molly going down on the bomb. Now they found it. They retrieve that from JKS's body, dropping it onto the bomb. Getting stuck by Jacob. He's uh -oh. got that kit. Uh -oh. Tarek. Oh, he tries to go in for the knife. That is a ballsy play from him. And uh, maybe a little too brave. Nice. Ouch. <laughs> and Nade finding so much damage. Tarek bearing the brunt of it. He was the one other player who had armor coming into this round. One of the guys who maybe would have looked to get a hand on one of those Kriegs. Down the ramp they go. Ethan offers himself up. The UMP of JKS is good for one. Oof. Grat, Deeg down, out from the equation. Bomb plant comes in for EG. As they try and set up for a two versus three post plot. Azur isn't going to come in on the flank. Instead, he elects to play this safe. That Molly uh, gets away with a lot of damage yeah. there onto these players over in Connector. That could be a bit of a disaster. Stanislaw's position now. Looking to come in huge. He gets away with damage, but are they ready for Tarek? Oh, he lets them out. He lets them cross. They think he's going to be playing the post plant down towards ramp, but he tries to line them both up, and he does. They start to exit away from the upper tunnels with players over in main and a man at Ivy. This is looking like it's all going to culminate in an A split with these nades inside of the B site. Looking to be nothing more than a ruse. Ethan's going to try and fast drop down the ladder. They double drop, and I like that drop there from EG. They go down together. They had a man waiting on the ladder to make that happen. Stan's going to open up with another down towards Ivy. But Jacob and Azza, they've taken matters into their own hands here at the A side of the map. Cirque now alone. 
does mop up Jacob still as it and JKS left to find a duo Kenya goes back all this time itself and as is going to show that experience that takes the duel deals with Cirque keeps that under control for 100 thieves but since then it's been all 100 thieves Again, straight out and about, make that one and six. Ethan loses his face straight away. The orb dropping another with a bomb into sight as well. These fast Econ pick plays are getting decimated. Oh, yeah, Cirk finished off and now just stand left. You cannot keep going out fast, they made on the side of EG. And that is just, it is just unfortunate. Tarek just shows his little elbow. Yeah, gloves can't stop bullets. Dear Jacob, and he's got loads of bullets. Bill's breezy with holes. Ethan nails Azza coming straight out of the pop dog, and Cirque's even going to follow up with the orb. This can fall apart, but the bomb's been dropped, and Cirque will respond. They need to cross towards pop to pick that one back up. A minute on the clock. Does let them wrap T spawn and go get it the safe way if they want, but looking to commit to these engagements. Both players here for 100 Thieves to fight back. This orb on the back lines as well. Gratz just missing the timing to the top side player. JKS will catch him too late. Bomb being retrieved and position being given up. Gratisfaction doesn't get a kill for it. They can back off in He smoked himself off. I'd love to see them go up Pop Dog and just go towards B. Guarantee the plant. Take it safely and Cirque will do that. There's no way Grat can stop it. Uh, Stan hangs around just to cut off this rotation and he's going to hear all the footsteps as Grat begins to run towards Inner. Yep. Easy as that. Maybe we can attribute it to that a little bit. Tarek going to set up towards these upper halls. Ooh. Gratisfaction tries his hand there at the peak and decides that it's not worth his time nor the effort. Oh, Liaz okay. and Gratisfaction, they chain together for two down here towards Ivy. Yeah, that's a big damper in the plans for EG. Meanwhile, just heading out the lower ramp, Ethan should be the first point of contact. JKS playing real close. We're about to have another smoke situation. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. Ethan a little quicker on the draw, finds JKS. This bomb site is becoming open. It's gonna be Gratisfaction towards the end of the yard, stops the bomb in its tracks. Now they're gonna have to backtrack. 2v4 and Gratisfaction keeps on delivering. Can he grab one more in this round? Already got three. Meanwhile, Ethan is gonna have to pull his horses and JKM is there to clean up the stable. That timing could be so close. Double nades from 100 Thieves. They won't do too much. Ethan gets tagged and as a pushes into the pistols, two there to take him down and they double up as well. EG, an opening kill and not oh just boy. one. Make it three. The A site is theirs. These pistols running rampant. And that last player is just gonna get pistoled down by Breeze of CZ. Breezy waiting in between the flash is in, he voids it, but he still turns around actually after the flash, after the fact, as it finds the kill, and Stan trying to trade. Oh, the orb misses a shot, Gratisfaction, that's a crucial kill that goes the other way, as it will keep things to stay for 100 Thieves. Tarot coming through a smoke, and it's just pandemonium right now. He's gotten out deep, I don't know if Azel realizes how far Tarek has found himself inside of this site, and with a deep main uh -oh. smoke, Cirque's been cut off. Uh -oh. oh dear, Az has been fed to the wolves, Lee as he needed oh. to get that trade, and Tarek is just too damn fast today. They have such a read yeah. as to where this is going to come from, right? They cleared old bomb, they haven't heard anything. This is an open for connector bomb plant as well. They're not worried about the comp play. They know that JKS resides at this B side of the map, and he Whoa. tries to catch Zerg, but Zerg flicks back around. It's an 8 7 half in favor of EG. 100 Thieves going to set up for this B play. Nobody here from the EG side. They're going to try and play this in the retake. Already, Ethan has been tagged up. Not the end of the world, though. Liaz has that Molotov. That's important to keep an eye on. He's going to try and get himself up into the... I was, I was imagining in the top halls, but instead they just use this Molotov to try and cut these rotations in half. And that hasn't really worked. You know, even I can see that. Breezy and Cirque throwing into this in a two on three. Cirque will get rid of one more. Gratisfaction inside of the bomb site, desperately trying to keep the dream Ooh. alive. Instead, he gets shut down. It's Liaz in the 1v1. Bomb not yet tapped and time running low. That's the real problem here for EG. Liaz isn't going to give up the peak. And with that, the round is locked in. It's eight to eight as the pistol round is found over in the oh. Thieves oh, oh. Cab. <laughs> the other three all on scouts so this definitely has the potential to get out of hand i think the real thing this is going to rely on is these two players slowing down this offensive enough for these rotations to come in everyone is blind and it's actually stuck somehow some way to deliver not just one but two kills from the connector looking for a bit more 
Tarek will remove another man. It's very back and forth once again, but Jacob head on a swivel. Damn. This man is 180ing. The Krieg though, it's, you know, headshot angles, sometimes a bit oof with the, uh, the old left clicks. Good with the scope, but, uh, close range, it can get dicey. Speaking of good with the scope, Cirque continues his domination here with ADLP, and Ooh, there's another one for you. Gratisfaction just shows his noggin. JKS just shows his feet towards ladder. Let's see what else Cirque's got up his sleeve. He does know that Liaz is there, and he does have the shot. Great round here for Cirque. Three kills to his name. Just Aza and JKS. Looks like they want to pressure inside, but they have been found out. Oh, that's a messy spray from Tarek. It could cost them, but the trade is instant. And JKS has left a long way from home. Coming down the pop dog. We have aggression in the past. This time he just smokes it off and stalls. Doesn't take the fight. Waits for the flank and keeps three alive. The bomb will get planted on the bomb train. So another retake scenario here for Evil Geniuses. Yeah, and still with this lurking teak on that could be problematic as well. These kills are going everywhere. JKS finding two down in this lower site. Tarek has killed Azza without getting a frag in main. So the lurk is gone, but so is the round for EG. They have to save as four on two. Cordoned outside of the site and with Kriegs, you want to keep them going for the next one. There's no way surely Breezy gets out of this one alive. Even if he gets his kill, there's so many players close by. That's a big frag, but the trade should be in. Oh dear, he's been given a chance. Smoking a beast spray in the face, and jacob has gone from this round. No way. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Come That's on, Grand Faction's like, it's my yeah. turn, and finally they deal with breezy but a tremendous cost right they Ooh. win the round but now there's not a lot of money here for 100 deep and with no fast yard play eg they can afford to slightly weaken the outside defense ethan he spots a player in pocket he does some damage double drop through and he trades one for one that's fine it's not perfect but it will do for eg especially with more players close towards Tcon that can trade things out. If Cirk flashes himself or gets flashed in here, he does. He's going to clear this, and now they know it's B. Now we should see huge rotations come out from EG, but they have already got two players on in it. Yeah, that smoke just getting dropped by his precious time. It means that 100 Thieves have to go through it. And a Molotov down at lane separates his offensive and leaves Liaz alone in the bomb site. A big kill from Gratis Faction, but it's immediately cancelled out. JKS has tried to keep them in it. Try as he might, but look at where that bomb has dropped. And look at where Cirque is positioned. If we could swap onto his point of view quickly. He's got this avenue locked down with the AWP. JKS really does have his work cut out for him here if he wants to make anything of this round. Now, they've given him a temporary 1v1. Oh, One of these players can swing on out once they know. 14 seconds and JKS gets caught swapping oh, no. to the Krieg. Devastating timing there. You need another three-timed assault where you, you split Ivy, Tcon, and Pop at the same time. Try and hit this out of sight. But the issue is keeping the B players holding back. That's hard enough when Stan's doing stuff like that. Jacob a little far behind. Gratis faction up close. They're going to flash out and try to get up top. Breeze is up top. He's on top of the green right now. He's going to be raining down on at least Jacob. Ooh. Good stuff by Gratis faction. It's just well in contention here for Thieves. Yeah, it's going to be a flank through pop as well. Ethan trying to stop the bomb, but he actually doesn't go for it. Just takes a peek towards Tcon. Another of the back of green. He's yet to see, but he gets a spot. Well, that push did net Stanislaw the kill. He backs off immediately. Yeah, some fake utility goes in towards this A-bomb site, and it looks like it's going to be a fast B. I absolutely love this from 100 Thieves. Stanislaw is not ready for that pace, just gets domed instantly, and I think this is going to be the save, honestly. Yeah, I don't even away, think yeah. you bother. I, I just think, yeah, it's written off. It, it's off the cards. Yeah, once again, going to elect for this four-man hold towards outside, and... 100 Thieves, I think they're reading into this as, you know, they, they've got EG worrying about Ooh. the B side of the map. The flashes are good there to net as of the first kill. The rest of the team starts to pour on out on the back of it. This A site already has a rotation from B, and that B bomb site is now empty. Ooh. It's fully stacked over here on A, and all the kills right now are coming up in favor of 100 Thieves. It's only Ethan. He gets dropped. 100 Thieves take it 16 to 13. We are heading to Nuke. We're heading to that third map. This series will continue. Yeah, to quote the great OJ Borg. Oh boy. Let's get it on. The pistol round here from EG. They're starting off over on the T Ooh. side, and that is not the start they wanted. JKS gonna deliver the first kill, but it's quickly put back into a four on four. This A site belongs to EG. This is not without its uh, problems though. This oh triple heaven split looked to be their downfall. Instead, it's all gone wrong. 
Well, there Ooh, you go. Oh, there's the Mag 7 delivering one. Traded out promptly there by Liaz onto the AK now. Now, lower control has gone the way of EG, but there's still Jacob left floating around. He's going to need Tarek out of the round. This could be a flawless round from 100 Thieves. They go into this with pistols. Can't see them, though, so we'll just duck down towards the hell position. Nice mm. shot. That's Cirque dead. Last man as those smoke fades. Jacob on lower has to do it all. He can only get damage and crossfire for Azza finds a double. Trade is in. Three on two. Favoured for 100 Thieves who are still in this lower bomb site. EG could dive up the vent if they want. They have a player coming in through mini right now. If Breezy finds a kill, that opens up the chance. But Gratis Faction on rotation could stop the vent play. He's come up in heaven. Liaz going wide, stops Breezy. Ethan might just want to duck down lower. He's seen two players up here right now. But he has a player coming in for the back line. Not that it matters. Grat hits a shot. Yeah, first time he's had the AWP out over on this T side as well. The thing that's kick-started this seven-round streak. And it could be more of the same. JKS is going to fall off of ramp for him. He's got Liaz over towards Hell to help out and hold the back line. And this le leaves this duo of JK uh, Jacob and JKS, a duo that often work together in these very important positions down here towards this B-bomb site. This is where, you know, that experience, that kind of knowledge of how each other plays is really going to come in handy oh. to help lock this round down. They've got this crossfire set up. It's only Cirque left, but you cannot let this man Damn. get the ball rolling. Two quick kills from Cirque. Now leaves him in the 1v3. He's got to ace it if EG want to make this their round. He's going to fake and run back to Vents to catch a rotation. We saw this trick used recently, but no, he's just going to stick it at the back of the site. Safe bet. B's been cleared out. The two men inside of it gone. Cirque still here for more. The door opens behind and Azza will seal his fate. If they are going to turn this around, you know, I would say four is the absolute bare minimum that they're going to need over on this T side. And with how it's looking right now, Oof. it's not looking incredibly likely. But saying that, Ethan and Cirque suddenly bring this back into a three on three. Make that a three on two with an entry from Breezy into this top side. Az has got to hold the cross and they almost lined up. Not quite. And uh, not quite doesn't cu quite cut it. Stan, hello. Creepy crawly in through the smoky swap positions with the enemy. Jacob still here, still ready, still watching. This is such a weird round, Harry. You don't see this every day. The flank is being protected, though. Jacob should not let more than one man pass here. There's the first. Does he expect another? No, that's him done for. As Tara comes in to take the first kill on the kill count. That is lovely as EG now given a chance. They want to split this top site. There's still players up there. A man on top of the hut could end this entire round. And they're taking their sweet time as well. Yeah, going to try smoke out to gain a bit of a foothold here. Breezy does delete Liaz. Pressure is now on for Azza. He gets blinded. They get in. He lets them out. Almost Ooh. does manage to get Ethan before it's traded. Breezy and Tarek, two on two. Seven seconds. This bomb Stick has got to get planted. Breezy. Oh, it's close, but he's been able to get it down. Tarek now dropped Breezy all alone, and he's trying to isolate these fights, but Grat and JKS play it together. It's an 11th round for 100 Thieves. Getting flashbacks to Kato, Harry. A lack of a T side in a map where you really need one. Jacob, great spray. Even going to get a really kill. Doesn't follow up. Tarek trades. Coming alive in these last couple of rounds. Will it be enough, though? Will it get EG on the board? Last time didn't work out on that top site with a late bomb plant. But now they're going dip down below as they drop in through ramp. Oh, goodbye, JKS. Are they going to try and go up now? They're just holding for the rotation down through the vent. Cirque's position at ramp as well is going to help out massively in the long run. If we could go to number nine just to see what he sees, he's locking this avenue down and not allowing this as a point of rotation. Leon's going to get one. That's Tarek trying to adventure up through the vents. This is going to be a third round for EG regardless. It's just about 100 Thieves trying to deal damage at this point. That's why they haven't got anything going on the map, Trace, I guess. Three rounds yeah. is... You know, this isn't 2015. Three rounds doesn't cut it on Nuke anymore. It's true. But Cirque's cutting them up. That's a first opening kill. It is, right? As we say, it's basically eat our words. Yep, cause is curse. It is indeed a factual thing. It is based in reality. We can test that as well. There's no way that EG win this round. I'm calling it now. There's I'm no way. Fate. There's no way, Harry. What are you talking about? It's not happening. Yeah. And now that we've said that, it just might happen. Ethan, Tarek over here, 
joining the rest of the boys to try and take ramp from but to do that you've got to get past the titan of ramp jks here offers up the first and the second and a third jks lighting up the scoreboard finally traded by ethan finally deals with the final boss over here at ramp but as you deal with the kingpin, you've got to try and mop up his minions, and that's when Azza comes what? in. Don't know how that doesn't that connect. Right. Oh, that was actually it. dead on. What, was it? what did you call his aim earlier, Harry? The wa like wavy aim? Wavy aim. Yeah, I think he just waved right past him right there. Jacob and Azza ready to try and pounce out through the door. JKS making a bit of a ruckus, making a bit of a noise towards outside, has pulled players over. And that's allowed for players to slip through the vent. This is a very topsy-turvy oh round because Ethan's already here. Now getting that kill, at least they know the danger that lurks behind them in secret. Bomb plant can come in. And a four on four. Graz Faction trying to come in late on this lurk. And he is the man that can kind of make or break this round for 100 Thieves. Not on the fence. It's going to be super late though. Cirque's there with the shot on the Azza. Here we have it. The retake is on, Hugo. Yeah, tick tock on the clock. Jacob with the Glock finds one, but it's a trade instantly and they tap it. Gonna stick the defuse. Liaz trying to bait shots out. He's got that at least. They no. don't know again. The info's not there. And the flank certainly is. Grat's gonna swap out for two bullets. And he's not got enough ammo nor time to save this round. It's gonna be a defuse just about for EG. Ooh, so that's a yikes. Tries to go in for the spray. <laughs> And he does a great job of getting damage off, but that's not the aim of the game here. JKS somehow the one to win that fight. And now they go back towards the ramp run. This is JKS's playground. But he sends in Jacob on the entry, flashes behind. Tarek's gonna get mollied out wow. from hell and put in the grave. Breezy and Stan, two versus five in this retake. The B site belongs to 100 Thieves. Breezy will get one. Help to relieve the pressure a little bit here. Yeah, they have no rush for this bomb plant either. They have it on the site, but holding, just waiting for those flanks to come in. Jacob coming down for support drops. One man, but it's not Breezy, and they should realize that Breezy's yeah. here as a result. Check the kill ki uh, kill feed, make sure who's still alive. This could be a real ratty play right here. Set up at the forklift in spawn. That is, it's a dirty angle, but a fight that you're seeing more and more teams take this day and age. Wow, the reflex is by Azza. He was too aware. Good shot by him. JKS is going to be holding the lobby for what is a push by Tarek. He's going to be going, He's going straight for the hut, and they're going to know. Cirk falls. We do that, have map and series point. That was so unfortunate for Tarek. Let's see if these shotguns can do anything for EG. Molotov gets them. Oh, There's one. Oh. He's going straight in. It's like he's dove hunting around here. Ethan with one. Breeze with another. Gratisfaction just trying to get out of the way because they are coming for him. There you go. A little bit of cleanup, a little bit of a response here from 100 Thieves. How much utility can Azza get from this flank? Tarek seemed like he was ready for that and only gets away with the tag onto Azza. That would have been a huge kill to find. But instead, we're back into the realms of a three on three. Ethan's timing's got to be perfect, and it just might be. Gratis faction out in the open. Ethan oh, tries to play the long game. Azza turns on the spot and deals with him. Cirque now taking up position over here in heaven. And he might have caught a timing to deal with pesky Azza. This shotgun on Stan mops up Jacob. And Azza's not going to be ready for this. He's been so smart on this outside lurk, but this is just not a position you're expecting if you're him. Yeah, Cirque's been looking for that kill all round long as well. He heard Azza drop off, but Azza didn't run to get the bomb. Yeah, Justin freaking savage, obviously. <laughs> JFK was already taken, so he went for JKS as the in-game handle. Yeah. Tarek now going to try and hold the V-bomb site. And can he muster up the courage? He does get one before he's promptly dealt with. JKS has activated this outside lurk. As is going to catch a man moving into the back line. Stanislaw and Breezy left in this two versus four. It all to do. Ooh. And Stanislaw's already been deleted. Breezy's followed up on two as well. 100 Thieves, they'll take a convincing victory here.